Hello, we are about to go fishing at this amazing place called Chattanooga. It's awesome here. Which is not in Utah. Where is this? It's in Alaska. Alaska? Alaska. You're in Alaska? We're in Alaska. We're gonna be here all week. We're gonna film some awesome vlogs. Get ready for Alaska, 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 Alaska vlogs. Couple of main channel videos. Dropping the mic. Or dropping the fishing no, that pole. Was supposed to work. This is the cabin that's like hundreds of years old. This is where if you need to go to the bathroom, this is the bathroom. Look at that outhouse. But look at that, it's open air. And then boom. You got a nice view right there on the wall you can look at. Um, yeah, and then right over here. That's where your toilet paper is. Pretty fancy, right? So now we're gonna take the four wheelers over. The boys wanna do some fishing, catch some fish. This is gonna be a fun adventure this week. All right, boys, see you later. We're going that way. Are you old enough to be driving this thing? He's 13. Uh, no comment. This is trouble already. <laughs> hey, boys. Oh, hey, how's it going over here? Great, peaceful. This is where you like to hang out? That's not a bad view. Wow, oh look, there's a beaver. Oh, oh, there's the beaver. He went back under, he heard me. Hey boys, I thought you were gonna go fishing. Exactly, we're going to a spot where there are fish. Yeah, out in the middle of the water. No, we're not no. going out there. That's where the fish are, I just saw him jump. Catch the beaver, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Those oh, mosquitoes are attacking you. Hi right boys. Pedal power. Hey, this is awesome. Beaver doing? Caught one fish. I throw him in. I throw, I throw him super <laughs> I saw you throw him back in. He probably broke his back. They just stood there? What do you mean it stood there? It just like sat there? Wait, what's that? <laughs> hey, can I come fishing with you guys? Do you have room for me? Yeah, Where do I sit? Look at that, you can see right to the bottom. I don't know what the weight limit is on this, Looks but we're like pushing it. Wait, are we close? Super close to our weight limit. You're gonna sink us. No, I'm not. <gasps> what? There's a bee! Yeah, that's a bee. You just scared all the animals in Alaska with that scream. I changed positions. I'm in the center of the boat. I think this is a little smarter. I see the beaver. It's really close to us. There it is. Oh, he hit. Whoa, did you see that beaver jump right there? He just tried to scare us away with his splash. Wait, why is it hard? Claire, I think Claire has one. Stop, stop, stop. Stop the boat. Claire's got one. Turn it around. Turn the boat around. Oh, Claire. Oh, Claire. I need you to do it. I need you to do it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, you got one. Look at him. Claire, you did it. Look at him. Pull him in the boat, Claire. That's awesome. No. Claire did a good job catching that fish, and now we realize we didn't have pliers, and those are essential for getting hooks out of fish's mouths. So we're gonna head back to the dock. You go like this with your feet. Me and Alex have got it. Alex is the captain, so he uses this little steering thing right here. Quick transfer, Claire, for London, and head back out and catch some more fish. Lincoln, what's your fish count up to? I have three. Whoa, you have one! What? Do you have one? Look at it! London, you got a fish. Ah. What? He always lets us pet, pet the fish. Hey, give it a pet. Oh, uh, should probably. Okay. Oh, good job, London. Can you pet it? Do you hear those dogs? Yeah. It's a sled team that is practices in the summertime. Listen, it's out that way. So peaceful out here. The fishing adventure is over. We caught probably around 40 fish, threw them all back, and it's just quiet as can be. And there's the water. It's like glass out there. So you're skipping skills. Wow. Wait, wait. You didn't skip it even once. Oh, it just buried it. You want to skip on top of the water, not under the water. Pretty. 
<laughs> oh, you got one. So this is a beautiful spot right here. Did you just go? Yeah, I just walked across. Woo! You did it! Yeah. This is one cool thing about Alaska. The trees that are along the river, they don't have very deep roots. So these trees will fall into the river in the springtime and you can see the roots sticking up. There it is. Oh, Alex, that's a good one. Woo, three. But Alex, he knows he knows where he's going. I I don't know where we're going. My dad, he he abandoned me pretty much. He abandoned us. Um, so we rode a four wheeler, but someone had to go and take it back. My dad, he took Claire with. Oh, that's it. That's right. What is that? We shoot uh, moose out of the tree. It's like a tree house. We shoot moose out of it. Are we going yeah. in it? Nah, it's unsafe. Roof fell off. Okay. Coming! Ah, he's gonna run us over now! What's going on, boys? Did you go up the tent? The moose tent? No, it's uh, broken down. The tent, you know, the. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not for sure they're gonna go up the moose tent. What did you guys do? Alex is gonna give us a tour of the underneath, the belly of the cabin. What do we got in here, Alex? Well, we got two fishing poles. Everything helmets. you might need, including a chainsaw. What do you yep. use the chainsaw for? Bears? You can see that. There's a beehive over here. Oh, look at that thing. It you can it. see it from this side. Is it dead now? It's yeah, it's now. dead. Yeah. Alex, how old is this cabin? 1950s. What's changed since the 1950s to now? Uh, this is Alex's favorite outhouse. Welcome. Oh, there it is. Looking good down there. It's like that's been used quite a bit, Alex. This one's nice and toilet paper is white. Why is there a broom in every outhouse? I have no idea. I have some idea. What is it? Sounds like there's a broom in every outhouse. I think it's because they want you to be tidy. Well, the squirrels get in, and the reason why the outhouse toilet paper is under the coffee cans is because the squirrels will take it all and make it for their nest. And yeah. this is a scallop for calling, calling moose. You rub that against a tree. This is off a shoulder blade of a moose. Whoa. And it makes noise. Okay, it sounds just like when they do it. Abby, what's your favorite thing about this cabin? I like a lot of things. Abby knows everything about this place. She's been telling us all kinds of yeah. trivia. How long have your ancestors been in Alaska? I'm You're in the seventh generation. Seventh generation Alaskan, right here, seventh generation. Her ancestors were the ones that built that cabin. This is Leslie's sister's daughter. And so they still live up here in Alaska. So now she can hold the claim to that seventh generation Alaskan. If we would have been in Alaska, instead of Utah or Arizona or New Mexico, wherever we were, then Claire would be seventh generation Alaskan, but sorry. Show us how that swing works. Oh yeah. Whoa, you lost your hat. This swing, how many years do you think this has been here, Bill? 25 maybe. 25 years old. Probably 1980. This swing is officially as old as I am, 1980. Leslie remembers when she was a kid swinging on this swing and she turns next week. I might have to edit that part out of the video, but she turns soon. Claire, how are you liking this cabin? Can you give us a tour of the inside of it? We still haven't even seen the inside. Yeah. We need to see everything in here. Okay, so here's the door. Giant wood, bear proof. And this is a couch area. And then there's a bed right here, and this is a bunk bed. Up there? Yeah. Well, you could sleep like three people up there. Look Four. at that fish on the wall. Do you know what this is right here, Abby? The black stuff. Baleen? Baleen, what's baleen? Baleen is um whales, their mouths, sort of. Yep. Why do we have these kind of creepy masks. There's one right here. There's one right yeah, there. Eskimo mask. How's that? Wow. Is this made out of real Eskimo people's faces? I don't think so. <laughs> it is not made out of their faces. And Bill has something that shows that Lincoln's ancestors also cut stuff open. This is a bayonet from World War One. Yes. Oh my goodness. Could you believe that your grandpa killed a unicorn? Lender would be, Lender would be mad. Oh, she was when I said that. It was the last unicorn, the last living unicorn. It's a mountain goat. Unicorn. Where's the unicorn? <gasps> we just had two squirrels and we accidentally separated them. One of them just started screaming at me. Oh, he's going around. 
think you can escape us, buddy. He knows the shortcut. All right, that's the end of our squirrel adventure. We need to get back to work. I am going to set something up so that we can cut open a something. We're gonna cut open this uh, fish that sings, because come on. We are going to try to cut away the rubber so that it's just the body and it's like mer, 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 mer. It should be funny. All right, we are finishing up. We just finished cutting open the singing fish. It felt good to destroy that singing guy. He had it coming. It's been annoying for like 15 years. It's 8 p.m. right now and the sun is still really high. The sun will set around midnight, but really it just drips, drips, drops below the, the mountains. Then it comes back up about four in the morning. So some golf courses are open for 24 hours. So we're gonna try to do some little midnight golfing. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow night. If we're too tired, go to bed and this vlog ends. Or if we are not too tired, we'll go hit some golf balls till midnight. <laughs>